Hi everybody, welcome once again to another game video reviews where I go over some of the games I've been playing recently. This is of course a, 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 a part in a batch of kind of rapid fire ones I'm doing, so let me just go ahead and get started with it. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. We all heard about it, we all kind of know it didn't get great reviews. How is it? Um, my humble opinion? Meh, it's okay. I mean, it's not the best Spider-Man game out there. Um, I definitely kind of dig the idea of having four different Spider-Mans to play. You have your Amazing, your Ultimate, your 2099, and your Nor. And of course everybody's been talking about, you know, the Nor one is basically a direct, not going to say rip-off, but uh, it plays just like Batman Arkham Asylum. And I think that's, they saw that got really good reviews and like, hey, let's put, do Spider-Man. It kind of makes sense to a point, but what I hate about the Nor, which I wish I, I would have liked it more, but I didn't, is it's uh, too stealthish. I mean, Spider-Man cannot take more than one or two hits and he's dead. It's very kind of sad to see Batman, oh, not Batman, huh, to see Spider-Man that weak of a character. And the thing is, like, it's definitely different than the other three modes, because the other three modes, you do a bunch of battling. Um, the Ultimate and Amazing are kind of the same. The uh, 2099 has a lot of falling down parts, whatever. But they all have at least fighting, and you feel like, you know, somewhat powerful. But the Nor one, you don't feel powerful whatsoever, and it's kind of just sad. But overall, the game was, you know, okay to play. You know, it was fun. It has decent design. Uh, I really like the character models. I really found the the whole cell shadiness and the different uh, kind of aesthetics to each uh, kind of Spider-Man really cool. Uh, it also has a lot of really good one-liners, really good dialogue writing, and especially the Deadpool level, which I've mentioned. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, and that was also the level I hated the most. But Deadpool is a great character because he always breaks down that fourth wall. But uh, other than that, let's see what else we got here. The next coming up is going to be Super Street Fighter. This will be quick. Um, I'm not the biggest Street Fighter fan, um, in which case, you know, I'll just play these so I can play them and get an idea of what's going on. Um, Street, if you play Street Fighter 4, you've kind of played Super Street Fighter. I mean, the only really difference is that, yes, you have more characters, and yes, all the characters are basically available right off the get-go, which is a huge, huge improvement. Like, every game should basically have that. But, uh, and, the, I mean, the controls, are, I guess, are more tightened and refined, some nuances here and there, but... Honestly, I think everybody that bought Super Street Fighter or uh, bought Street Fighter 4 last year kind of got gypped by the Super Street Fighter. Granted, it was kind of more of a budget title. They released it at 40 and stuff is kind of DLC-ish. But I just thought it was kind of weak for them to release a, a better version of the game so close to the release of the last game. But once again, I'm not a huge fighter fan. I did enjoy that uh, uh, Blue Blaze. That was a good fighting game. I liked it because it was more anime-ish and more, uh, had more of a story and kind of just the niche stuff. But this is Super Street Fighter. I played it. It was okay. Not my cup of tea. Meh. And that's kind of it for this batch.